Student protests take a turn for the worse. This is several buildings are torched at Cape Peninsula University of Technology Belleville campus. But this time, two guards are locked inside a building that is set on fire. However, protesters deny involvement in the arson attack, instead blaming rogue elements. This is very foreign to the strategies that we have adopted as a, as, as a student movement. So definitely there's something um, amiss about what has transpired last night. The hearing was for the 12 students who were arrested yesterday to appear in court and that they'll be granted bail today. Unfortunately, it transpired uh, that the state does not have sufficient information uh, to have them released on bail. While lectures continued, Wits University was on edge as three petrol bombs were found. The basement to the architecture building had been set alight overnight. We found two sets of petrol bombs. The first set was of three petrol bombs hidden in a backpack. It was on the West Campus near Gate. We um, discovered that there was a fire that had started in the John Moffat Architecture Building. What we think happened is that a uh, petrol bomb was thrown through a window of a basement in the John Moffat building. Tuana University of Technology students pull onto the streets as protesters pull them out of class. TUT had planned to reopen all campuses, but protests affected the Pretoria, Harangua, Arcadia and Arts campuses. They broke into our classrooms and then everyone was forced out. We all ran like headless chickens and we were forcefully removed from the school premises and forced like forced to partake in the strike. The call is, is greater than individual students. So when, when we say students must break out class, we expect them to break out because this call is, 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 is a national call. The VITS is closed, UP is closed, TUT is closed today. So we can't open these institutions just because five students are going to go to class and must understand that this call is greater than any individual student. University of Johannesburg continues classes amid minimal disruptions. Some students were pepper sprayed as the protesters took to the city streets. There was uh, another student leader who, 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 who has, happens to be um, also a part of the uh, Fismas Fall, the Fismas Fall movement to Klamna Uh He's been taken by the police uh, with the presence of uh, private bouncers. Although there's no end in sight to the protests, police are gaining ground in efforts to contain the movement. Kani Mapanga, ANN7, Johannesburg.